Good day, everyone, and welcome to physics and mathematics lovers. Before us today is a question on radical equation. And the question says, root x plus root, root 3, rather, root 3 plus root x all over root 2, equal to 3. You are asked to find x. So what do we do? So your solution, we are going to have a root 3 plus root x all over root 2 equal to what? 3. So in this case, we want to make sure that we remove this one here to make it to become a linear equation. So to make it a linear equation, we just have to cross multiply. Cross multiply like this. It means that this one will multiply this and this word we multiply this. This all over 1. This one here will multiply this. So in that case, we are going to have uh, root 3 plus root x equal to uh, 3 root 2. So at this point, we all have radical here, radical here, and radical here. What do we do? We need to work. Uh, first of all, make this here to stand on it. We'll make it solid of the formula by moving this one to this side. So, and this one here is positive. So whenever the positive crosses the equation to this other side, to become negative. So we're gonna have just root x equal to three root two minus root three. So at this point now, we are going to remove this root here. How do we do that? Is by was squaring both sides. So you must, you must wear square both what? sides. That is to say, if I square here, I will square here. So to remove this my what? root. So let's continue from here. So we're going to have what? Root x all squared equal to. So you also do the same thing to this right hand side, which is what? Root 3. We have a root 3. Okay, 3 root, 3 root 2 rather. Okay, that's 3 root 2. 3 root 2 minus root 3. So all squared. So you square that. So the essence of doing this is to eliminate this radical here. So these two here, we will cancel this out. So then we're going to have our x equal to 3 root 2 minus what? Root 3. Now, because this one is a square, it means we are going to multiply this by itself. So we see how about 3 root 2 minus root 3. So let's simplify. So when you simplify, S is equal to, what are we going to do? So this first one, we multiply everything in the bracket. And in turn, this one also, we also multiply everything in the bracket. So 3 root 2 times 3 root 2. Look at the non-radical side, which is if 3 times 3, is, it will give us what? 9. 9. Then root 2 times root 2. So in that case, when we have uh, root 2 times root 2, we set it as what? Root 4. Because according to the law for sod, root times root. So we take one of the root, then 2 times 2 is 4. So we're going to have what? Uh, uh, 9 root 4. And our root 4 in mathematics is 2. So which means 9 is going to be multiplying 2 here. So we move down to this way. Here we have our 3. All right. Now, um, in this case, we are going to multiply here. Um, since this one, this first bracket, everything in this bracket is multiplying here. So this first one here, we multiply here. In turn, this one also will multiply well, everything in that bracket. So let's start with the first one. 3 root 2 times 3 root 2. So this 3 here, we first of all multiply this 3. It will give you what? 9. Then we are going to what? This root 2 here, multiply root 2. So root 2 times root 2 is written as what? Root 4. So in mathematics, root 4 is what? 2. So it means what? This 9, now we multiply 2. That's how I put what? Here. This is what? A dot product. Then the next term is this. This say root 2, root 3, root 2. We also multiply what? Root 3. Then here we're having minus, minus, then three. Yeah, the root side, we multiply the root side. Why this one will remain here? So we have a three, then root two times 
root 3. It will give us what? Root 6. Because the two will multiply. Both of them are having radical. So the roots will remain. While the number inside will multiply each other. So we move to, down to this way. Then we also have uh, the same way. Root 3 multiplying 3 root 2. And here it's having radical. Here it's also having radical. So this whole number here will remain. We have 3. Then 3 times 2 is what? That is what? Roots what? 6. Then root 3 minus root 3 times root 3. So in mathematics, whenever a root multiplying root, I don't know, we are going to have what? Root 9. Root 3 times root 3 is root 9. So root 9 is equal to what? 3. So here we now have what? 3. So this, remember, this is our dot product. Here is what? 9 times 2. So which is what? 18. Then minus. Yeah, we're having minus 3 root 6 and what minus 3 root 6. Look at both of them. They are the same. So it becomes what? 3 minus 3 minus 3 root 6. We've now got what? Minus 6 root what? 6 plus 3. So this one is the radical side and this one is the whole number. So we just add this one. We have what? 3 plus 18. So 3 plus 18 is give you what? 21. Then here is the radical side. We have minus what? root what? That is what? 6 root what? 6. So this is our final answer. Our x is equal to what? 21 minus 6 root 6. That's how far we can go for now. If you find this class very interesting, why don't you share this post to extend the knowledge? Thank you. Bye.